welcome back to my channel um, I did a short a couple days ago on this uh, this one's gonna be just a little bit more uh, detailed than that but it will also be fairly short because uh, the uh, Bryn Knight uh, XP 22 Scorpion is really straightforward it's just all around the best weapon light system that I have used and as of this moment in time I didn't actually take a physical count but I have to have at least eight different weapon lights uh, ranging from uh, maybe $30 all the way up to $400 and this one uh, this one just beats all of them the XP 22 Scorpion now I've done a, a video in the past and so some people will be like, well, why are we having a repeat? Well, the first time I ever got my hands on one was this one. I was asked to be part of their prototype uh, bunch of group of guys. Uh, we were supposed to uh, take notes of how it worked, what we liked, maybe what we didn't, what we'd like to see added. And uh, the final version that was available for everybody uh, was, was this guy right here. Uh, the prototype uh, didn't have any like extra design on the top of it. I mean, it's not serving any purpose other than giving it a, a, a cool look. Uh, they encased the button instead of just being out here. It is uh, shielded. Other than that, the big difference of why I am showing you this video is the original light the original XP-22 Scorpion was 400 lumens, and the new one is 1,300 lumens. I took the stuff out from behind, but I just thought you'd be interested in seeing uh, how they package it. Uh, even though uh, these have taken uh, the abuse of use and uh, shooting, um, I have no issues of how... Uh, Anything that I've ever received from uh, Bryn Knight holds up. It is a one-piece design, and it has dual lights. So wherever you place this on your rifle, you're not going to get a shadow uh, from the barrel. As a matter of fact, what you end up looking at is one solid beam, like as though your flashlight is way out in the head of the rifle. It's awesome um, the way that it's able to uh, do that because of the, the dual lights. Um, this can, oh, well, that's, that's wonderful. I guess I'll remove this later. It, it wasn't total plastic, and uh, now it left me a mission. The, okay, so that's the first thing I could probably ever complain about. Again, a one-piece design. Uh, spring loaded. Open it up. Uh, attach it to uh, attach it to your Picatinny rail. Now you can have this mounted in whatever fashion works best for you. I know a couple people that have mounted it to the to the side. Um, I I put them on the top. Um, I don't I don't really have the. Uh, I guess on on this guy, if I well no, I don't have the space. Top top work the best. It's also right where my my thumb is to activate it. Uh, they put the sticker on here in case uh, you try to turn it on and didn't read the directions. Um, to, uh, when it's in lock mode, which uh, this one was not, so to lock it, you turn it on. Uh, I'm going backwards on this, or we'll just start over. Uh, pressing the button, nothing happens because it's in lock mode. So you would press and hold for five seconds. It will uh, uh, light up to tell you that it's unlocked. Now, uh, your use, if you press and hold it, it stays on until you release it. If you were just to hit it fast, it stays on so you can take your hands off the the light in order to have control over your rifle. At any point, if you double click it, it goes into uh, strobe mode. That was something that was not available on the original prototype. But as for uh, intensity, um, there is definitely 
uh, a noticeable difference, as you should, because it's 900 lumens uh, brighter. Uh, pretty much uh, no maintenance. Uh, charging is awesome because they use a magnetic charging system. So just like that. Uh, it does have a little indicator right there that lets you know when it's charging. Uh, as far as what's in the box, what's in the box? They have a, uh, uh, a thinner piece of uh, rail section in case whatever you're sticking it to uh, just happens to require that. This is your typical uh, spacing for the uh, Picatinny rail. Uh, I Like I said, I have not had any kind of an issue with mine. I know because I now have this one, I will be upgrading uh, my AR pistol, Alice, as uh, uh, the one and only rifle in my collection that got named. Uh, I will be, uh, will be swapping them out. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen uh, with this one yet. I'm totally happy with the uh, the original prototype over here on my, as I cough, <laughs> my my run and gun, my my three gun rifle, which has never seen the other two uh, guns. Again, in the box, you get the light, the charging cable, the extra rail. Uh, you get uh, you you get an advertiser for some of their other products. I got something new that's really kind of cool that's coming out. Uh, the directions, really easy to read, straightforward. And uh, one thing I thought was cool is they uh, treat you to an added warranty It ex uh, by uh, registering um, your, your uh, Scorpion with them. You can extend your warranty by three extra years. As of this very moment in time, I probably have seven, seven different Bryn Knight uh, flashlights of various, uh, various kinds in the collection. It might even be more. And I have yet to have a single problem with any of them. But since how they're including it, I am going to uh, register this. I picked this up over on uh, Amazon. Um, I will have the the top comment in the uh, in the video and the top in the description box will be a link if you wish to go over and pick one of these up for yourself. Um, they are a hundred and nineteen dollars. For what is a complete everything, you don't have to worry about running the uh, the, the remote switch somewhere. Um, you have everything all in one. And like I said, I, I guess I'll I have to be categorized as a uh, Bryn Knight uh, Scorpion fanboy because it is the one that I have. I've never had a problem with it. Uh, price point for what you're getting, um, 1,300 lumens. It's, uh, I think it's a great uh, price point. You don't have to worry about uh, running and figuring out how you're going to attach a remote switch. As, I mean, the, down, the only downside I can think of is if for some reason you don't have anywhere where you could configure this. Again, I could easily have uh, this one uh, back here a little bit more which uh, I'm actually considering maybe as an option because when I'm holding the rifle, actually with the with where I have the, uh, the grip underneath, it puts my thumb right on it. Uh, so again, uh, this, this could have been on, uh, on, the, on this particular rail. This literally could have been connected, uh, attached on the bottom, on left or right. And I chose the top because there was, there was nothing sitting there. It does not get in the way of my uh, front flip up. And then when you flip the front up, then it gives you uh, your access to the uh, magnetic charging. I like that. You don't have to worry about swapping out uh, batteries. 
and uh, you don't have to remove it to charge it from uh, your rifle. So that is the new version of the X-22 Scorpion. Same, same package as they had before, just 900 lumens brighter. If you're interested, again, I will, uh, I will have the, uh, the link uh, in two different spots. Top comment, description, if you uh, wish to go uh, check out one of these uh, for yourself. Again, if you have any questions or comments, or if you've been running these, um, I wouldn't mind the feedback down in the, in the description. I think they are absolutely fantastic weapon lights. Okay. Cheers, guys.